What's up everybody, Jackson here, and if you're like me, you've kind of been wondering what the hell is going on at, over there at Hello Games, No Man's Sky, what's, what's, what the hell is going on with this game? It seems like I'm not the only one, my buddy Aristotle linked me to a uh, post on NeoGAF, and it's very interesting, It's it, the title of it is what the hell is going on over at, no, at Hello Games, alright. Um, there's some interesting things going on over there. There's people leaving, people getting different jobs somewhere else. And these aren't just low-level developers or just low-level people within the company. These people held impressive jobs at Hello Games. Especially impressive considering the amount of money they've made off of this game. Quite impressive indeed. So why are they quitting? Why are they leaving? I don't know. Because much like you if, you, if you pay attention, like, Sean Murray isn't saying anything. Hello Games isn't saying anything. All right. What we're getting from them is these patch notes that say bug fixes, bug fixes, bug fixes, more bug fixes, right? That's what we, that's what we hear, you know. <sighs> Something about a content update, but that seems weird considering that, you know, I'll, 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 we'll get into this as we go along, but let's start at the top of this post and work our way down. The game's producer and community manager seemingly left the company shortly after launch. If you look at No Man's Sky Contact Us page on August 8th, 2016, and then again on October 7th, 2016, you will notice that two names are missing and three names are new. All the new names are developers. Well, that's good. At least they're bringing in people to help them finish this catastrophe. The two names that are missing is the producer and the community manager. The producer in this case also acted as Sony's PR liaison approved messaging for Sony's PR machine, and set up the marketing, according to their LinkedIn. So, was he the one who was behind all the... these, uh, bullshit, uh, gameplay trailers? You know? Did he leave because Sony knew they were bullshit? And Sony's like, fuck, maybe we'll get in trouble? I don't know, dude. I don't fucking... This, is, this whole situation, all we can do is speculate. It's all we can do because no one's being honest with us. No one's telling us what the fuck is going on. <sighs> the producer, blah, blah, blah. The community manager also left shortly after the game was launched to work for Eurogamer. Well, now we know why Eurogamer is so softball. You know, some people feel like this game didn't deliver all the promises. Some people feel like this game's marketing was misrepresented. Some, now we understand the language, Eurogamer. Now we understand it, and this is why you can't trust video game journalism nowadays, okay? There's a select few of people you can trust. This is a perfect example, because now we have someone from Hello Games who's working in the freaking journalism for video games. He's, he's working at Eurogamer, right? A lot of people get their suit news from Eurogamer. How tough is this guy going to be on video game companies? How tough is this man, who was part of the biggest scam in video games for God knows how long, right? How is he going to accurately report? How are you going to expect him to accurately report? Huh? How? Yeah, let's give him a job. He's from a company that lied their fucking asses off. Let's hire him. He's got integrity. <sighs> September 2nd, both names were on Hello Games site. October 5th, both names are gone from Hello Games site. September 23rd was the last tweet from Hello Games. So what happened? Did they get canned after the backlash? Did they quit for stre less stressful jobs? Perhaps they leveraged the experience to something more lucrative. No one really knows. Now here's another, this is, and so basically what this NeoGAF article is, is it's, it's a link to all of these other things. So this one, Hello Games offices appear to be more or less abandoned. In the office of Hello Games, okay, sorry. The office of Hello Games is closed and has sticks and debris in front of the door as if no one has been there for a while. Okay, here's the thing about this little thing. I, the guy who took the picture said he took it on a Saturday. So we don't know if they're, they're even working there or, you know, or not on Saturday. So you can't say that they're, it's abandoned. Because, of course, it's going to be abandoned if it's Saturday and they don't work on Saturday. Um, even though... And then an another commenter down below said, I know the team and I know that they're working from home because they're scared of threats. Because apparently they're still getting threats. Alright. How long are they going to hide behind this shit? These, this, this threat bullshit. 
How long is this going to... Is Sean Murray going to come out and say, Oh, you know, well, I didn't want to lie, but the death threats just had me so fucking terrified that I didn't want to disappoint anyone, and that's why I lied. Like, what is he going to say? That is That has got me the most... The, the most curious of all. Because I think this man is a gutless, spineless piece of shit. So I don't think that he's going to take responsibility for the lies that he's told. Part of me honestly feels like he's going to try some millennial bullshit. And try to put this off on someone else. Like, oh, this is, this is so-and-so's fault. Or this is so you know, this is, it's not my fault. You know, it's the gamers. They, they anticipated it way too much and they build up this hype machine in their mind it's on them it's on them it's on everyone who pre-ordered no man's sky all right i'm sorry you didn't get what i said was going to be in it right what is he gonna say i, I want to fucking hear what he is going to say that's why part of me doesn't even think he's gonna show up to fucking jeff Keeley's or anyone else's i don't think he's gonna say anything and if he does i promise you we're not gonna like what it is well he's not gonna come out and say you know what I am sorry that I so blatantly lied and misrepresented this game. I really wanted it to do well, because if it didn't do well, Hello Games was going to go under. Because we had already lost all this money, we were already hurting, right? So, I lied because I wanted you guys to buy the game. I wanted the game to do better than I knew it would if I was honest, and so I lied. He's not going to come out and say that. That's what happened. But he's not going to come out and say that. He's not going to admit he lied. He's going to have some bullshit excuse. Watch. Just wait. <sighs> anyway, so about the office closing. That's... Who knows? It could have been taken on a Saturday. That's why it appears dead. It could also be simply that Sean Murray, you know... I don't know. That they're so terrified they have to work from home. Meanwhile, Ennis McKendrick, one of the lead programmers, has been going on a conference tour. He traveled to Greece and Australia in the past month and will be heading to Montreal, Canada in a month. That sounds like a nice vacation, man. I wish I could go to, you know, Greece, Australia, Montreal, you know, just to further spin bullshit. <sighs> this is, you know bit odd that the lead programmer wouldn't be back at base working on the apparently large updates that are expected. That is weird. That is. The lead programmer is off, you know, taking a tour around the country doing conference tours. What's he telling them? Is he teaching them how to lie? Is he teaching them how to misrepresent their product so that they can get more money out of it? I mean, how about you go back to the offices, you sit your fucking ass down, and you earn that paycheck! How does that sound? You go home, you fucking get to work, and you earn that paycheck, and you deliver the goddamn game a lot of us fucking bought. Alright? Thought we were buying. Okay? Stupidly thought we were buying based on your words. And of course, Sean Murray has still not posted a single tweet since launch. There are critical disappointments in video games, but this seems different to me. There is clearly a story here, and who knows when we will hear it, but considering Murray has walked away with a significant portion of the millions of dollars spent by consumers on this game, I think it's one of those consumers deserve to know. And for the sake of the rest of the team who possibly do not deserve to have their careers tarnished with his brush. Yeah, because right now, honestly, in my opinion, like, everyone at Hello Games is just as responsible for this as Sean Murray. Like, no one else, no one came out and said, hey, dude, like... He's making shit up. Like, we can't deliver this stuff. This stuff isn't going to be in the game. No one said anything. They just, they let him continue online. And that's why in my mind, like, and you know, this is Neil Gaff poster, Capri, Caperinia. I, I'm sure I am saying that completely wrong, but I'll have a link to it below. So, what the hell's going on, dude, over at No Man's Sky? What the fuck is going on? So we have, we have the, the, we have, let's see, producer of the game and the community manager of the game are no longer there. They're, they're done. They no longer work for Hello Games. So why did they leave? Right? Because if this game, like all these No Man's Sky apologists, they're defending the game, right? They're like, oh, it's the best fucking game ever released, dude. You're just a fucking hater because you don't understand the 
relaxing nature of this deep space exploration game. It might be true, because I don't understand it. I don't understand the nature of this go do the same shit a hundred different times game, right? Like, I don't. Without any end game, without any purpose, without any spine. Just, you know, this game has less spine than Sean Murray. We got those two people gone, one of whom which is tied to Sony in a big bad way. Like, like it, this says, they are... The producer in this case also acted as Sony's PR liaison, approving messaging for Sony's PR machine and set up the marketing, according to their LinkedIn. So he set up Sony's marketing or No Man's Sky marketing? Either way, this guy knew Sean Murray was lying and he was encouraging it. Because if that's his job is PR, right, and he's letting Murray go out there and say all these things, then the PR has no problem with him lying. And if he's there as a direct, like, is, is he is he telling Sony all these things are going to be in the game? Or does Sony know this shit isn't going to be in the game? And that's why after it released, they're like, okay, well, you've got to go. You know, go work for, go work for fucking Eurogamer. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, I'm wrong. The producer didn't go work for Eurogamer. The community manager, you know. The guy who was responsible for handling the community and letting the community get informed and sharing all the pertinent details of the game with the community. Yeah, he's got a record of fucking being spot on for video, right? He's got, he, he deserves a job as a video game journalist, right? At Eurogamer. Totally. He did such a good job of managing the community in No Man's Sky up until the game released and then he quit. These fucking, you know, they're gonna, so that's, that's this, you know, that's, that's what we know. All we know is that the fucking, you know, the producer and the community manager are gone now. Sean Murray hasn't said a fucking word since release. Hello Games has been radio silent. They've had updates. All of them bug fixes. All of them bug fixes. Are they working on this new content that supposedly they're supposed to give us? I mean, everyone's talking about base building and, you know, freighters. Is that happening? Is that something they're working on? Like, what is happening? Why aren't they saying anything? I know why they're not saying anything. Because there's nothing they can say. Alright? There is nothing Sean Murray can come out and say that will satisfy us that, you know, have are on to him are onto these lies that have paid attention to this whole debacle, okay? This is, this is a scam like no other, man. Like this, this whole thing feels like a scam, especially now you've got important key people who worked on the development of the game leaving. You got the head designer doing nothing but going on tour, right? Why not? He's made all the money. What else, what is he, what is he fucking doing conferences on? That's what I'm curious. Like, what? Game design? Like, how to fuck over your customer in five easy steps? Right? What is he What is he doing conferences on that's more important than him finishing the game that they've all lied about? That's what I'd like to know. I'd like to go sit down and listen to one of these guys' one of this guy's conference. I'd like to hear sit in one of his conferences. I just want to hear what he... What's more important than finishing the game that he sold me that I can't get a refund on? Right? That isn't the game I bought. It's not. No Man's Sky isn't the game I bought. The game I bought was the game Sean Murray was fucking showing off at E3 and shit. That's the game I wanted. <sighs> so, I mean, once again, this is all just speculation. Who knows? I mean, I mean, it's fact that these two people are no longer there. You know? We don't know that it's fact if they're not in the building anymore and that the building is, you know... Abandoned. Who knows? They made a lot of money. They might have just got a new fucking setup, right? Um, I'm hoping what happens. I'm hoping that's what it is. This is. I'm gonna leave this video on my hope. I'm hoping what's happening is Sean Murray doesn't want to say anything until he's delivered at least one of the things that he lied about, and then I hope that he comes out and he says, "We apologize. I lied. The company was hurting." I wanted the game to fucking be successful, I wanted the game to sell as many as it could, so I lied about it, but I always had the intention of finishing it. And I want them to have spent all this money that they've made, 
I want them, sure, I don't want them to be in that shitty, dumpy little office anymore. I want them to get a new, big, nice office building. I want them to keep their developers comfortable. I want them, these new developers, I want them to get them helping them finishing this game. And I want to see No Man's Sky grow into the game it was supposed to be. Because the game that Sean Murray was talking about really does seem like a fucking epic legendary experience. Alright, it does. And, um, to not have that happen, and if it, if it just plays out like they're done with this game, they're playing it off, that sucks, man. Sucks. Anyway, Jackson, that's it for me. I'm out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe. Take care. Till next time, kick kicking ass and keep bringing down those giant, uh, Autobots. Autobots assemble! Sorry, I forget. I was gonna end this with something clever, but instead you just get, hey, talk to you guys later.